what changed for you to say that, yeah, I, I want to go make this change now? Well, well, there was a bunch of things, you know, I, I'll be honest. Um, you know, I've been doing the analysis and I'm a fleet guy and I just thought, you know, I, I don't want to ever be accused of being a naysayer or, or, uh, or a pro, like, I don't want to be either way. I tried really hard. It's important to us, I think, as you know, to be objective, pragmatic, to be pragmatic, yep. to let the data, the data guide our decisions. Yeah. And so I wanted to experience it firsthand. I thought it was a good thing to do for me in my career in some ways, right? To be able to experience it and say, no, I actually, I know this firsthand. I'm not making it up. I'm not reading it. I'm not going along with what a bunch of you know, bloggers are saying or something. Right. I'm not going with the crowd, so to speak, on either side, right? Because there's a lot of going with the crowd on both sides. Amen. Things, right. Yep. Uh, and I don't, you know, I don't want to fall on that. So I, that even, was part of it. Even in our own company, we've seen Even this. in our own company, <laughs> right? Right. People on both sides. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, you know, guess what? EVs are not the savior of the universe and they're not the devil, right? Really? Like, you know, Come on. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so that's a, that was a motivation, right? Another motivation was um, I figured, heck, I'm in Arizona. Where can I get electricity? You know, I'm thinking solar, right? Like there's all the sun on the, and I'm thinking I'll get, I'll get some solar panels on my house and I'll never have to pay for fuel again. Right. Because you know, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. You know, especially if it's a long-term play. Right. Exactly. Like, I think, oh, uh, you know, when I hear that people are having infrastructure challenges, my first reaction is, well, you know, like let's solar the crap out. You've got probably a way, you know, you've got a ton of land. Right. Right solar everything, right? everything and just help offset the you know the impact of the ev right band right and it'll do quite a bit right especially when t- to that point and i've said this to you know clients who will listen you know th- that's always a big concern and paying for it and all that and that's legit but you know the solar companies for the most part will do the same thing for commercial that they're doing for residential which is they'll pay for all of it for you right yeah. and yeah you got to pay for it as a service but Boy, it's cheaper than it's cheaper. You, it's a cheaper alternative than going through the entire like. Hey, we've got to get the the whole grid upgraded, right? right. Or, or, or build a microgrid, right? And maybe it's not even an option. Right? right. We just we don't have the circuit capacity, right? That may become instead of going out generators or you know other alternatives. Solar is a great option there. It really is. It's so, it's underutilized, I think, yeah. in, in in that world as right? a stopgap. As a stopgap, right? Yeah. 